Iran reportedly unveiled a new advanced missile system on Sunday that it claims is capable of downing enemy aircraft from up to 120 kilometers 75 miles away. The semi-official Fars News Agency reported that the Corded 15 was on display at a ceremony in Tehran, where Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hatami said it could sense targets from 150 kilometers, 93 miles, away. It can also trace stealth targets in areas 85 kilometers, 53 miles, in distance, and destroy them at a distance of 45 kilometers, 28 miles, far as quotes Hatami is saying. The air defense system can be ready for operation in under five minutes and is capable of hitting six targets at once, Hatami added. According to the report, the Corded 15 is outfitted with locally produced missiles similar to the US-designed Hawk missiles involved in the 1980s Iran-Contra scandal. The defense minister said the system is intended for defensive purposes to protect Iran from external threats. In February, Tehran announced the successful firing of a new long-range guided missile as it celebrated the 40-year anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. The Hevesa missile was characterized by Iranian media as a high-precision projectile that can pack significant weight and fly at relatively low altitudes. Iran's missile program has long sparked concern among its Middle Eastern neighbors and the West. The reported development comes as the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group is deployed in the Persian Gulf in response to what Washington characterized as threats Tehran made toward its regional assets. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said earlier this year that Iran was capable of striking targets anywhere in the Middle East and in some areas of Europe with high-precision missiles that could carry multiple warheads. The show of force comes as the Trump administration pushed members of the Security Council to extend a U.N.-imposed arms embargo on Iran. The embargo is currently set to end in October under the 2015 nuclear deal brokered, in part, by the Obama administration. Last week, the Security Council voted to not extend the international arms embargo on Iran. A decision that prompted Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to formally notify the group on Thursday of the U.S. intention to snap back or restore all U.N. sanctions on Iran. 30 days after Pompeo's notification, a range of UN sanctions will be restored, including the requirement that Iran suspends all enrichment-related activities. The snapback will also extend the 13-year arms embargo on Iran. Secretary Pompeo's notification to the Council follows its inexcusable failure last week. To extend the arms embargo on the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism and anti-Semitism, State Department spokeswoman Morgan Ortega said in a statement. In January Iran said that it would further scale back compliance with the International Nuclear Pact and would no longer limit its uranium enrichment capacity or nuclear research. While the other signatories of the nuclear deal, France, Germany, the UK, Russia and China, have tried to keep the agreement alive, the state broadcast said at the time that Tehran's steps could be reversed if Washington lifted its sanctions. The Wednesday report says the Baber 373 is a long-range surface-to-air missile system able to recognize up to 100 targets at the same time and confront them with six different weapons. It was set to be unveiled Thursday. The system could be a competitor to Russia's S-300 missile system. Since 1992, Iran has developed a homegrown defense industry that has produced light and heavy weapons ranging from mortars and torpedoes to tanks and submarines. The U.S. re-imposed sanctions on Iran after it pulled out of a nuclear deal between Iran and world powers over concerns about Iran's missile program and regional influence.
Trump argued the accord did not limit Iran's ballistic missile program.